In this video, we'll be discussing the ventricular volume changes that occur during the cardiac cycle. We'll be focusing on each event of the cardiac cycle and the corresponding change that occurs in ventricular volume. Let's start with the first event of the cardiac cycle, that is atrial systole. During atrial systole, the ventricular volume increases as shown by the area highlighted in red on the graph, but it only increases a little bit, since this is just the last bit of blood that the atria push into the ventricles. Moving on to the second event of the cardiac cycle, that is isovolumetric ventricular contraction, which is represented by the area highlighted in blue on the graph. During this phase, the ventricular volume is constant, since the mitral valve closes just before isovolumetric contraction and the semilunar valves have not yet opened. The phase of ejection comprises of rapid and reduced ventricular ejection. During rapid ejection, the ventricular volume decreases dramatically, whereas during the reduced ejection phase, the ejection of blood from the ventricles is slower. The ejection phase is represented by the area highlighted in green on the graph, and the aortic valve opens just before the ejection phase starts. The ejection phase is followed by isovolumetric ventricular relaxation, during which the ventricular volume remains constant, since the aortic valve has closed after ejection, and the atrioventricular valves have not yet opened. The area highlighted in orange represents isovolumetric ventricular relaxation. The filling phase of the cardiac cycle involves rapid and reduced ventricular filling. Most of the ventricular filling occurs during rapid ventricular filling, whereas during reduced ventricular filling, the filling occurs at a slower rate. The mitral valve opens before the filling phase begins, and the area highlighted in purple on the graph represents the filling phase. Let's move on to understanding some important terms such as end diastolic volume, end systolic volume, stroke volume, ejection fraction, and cardiac output. The volume left in the ventricles at the end of diastole is called the end diastolic volume and is around 140 ml. The volume left in the ventricles at the end of systole, that is after blood has been ejected from the heart, is called end systolic volume and is around 65 milliliters. The difference between the end diastolic volume and end systolic volume gives the volume of blood that has been ejected from the heart in one stroke or one heartbeat. This is known as the stroke volume and is about 75 milliliters. The fraction of the end diastolic volume that is ejected from the heart is called the ejection fraction. Since the stroke volume is the volume of blood ejected in one beat, the ejection fraction is the stroke volume over the end diastolic volume, and that turns out to be 0.53 or 53%. The cardiac output is the volume of blood pumped out by the heart per minute. That is the stroke volume multiplied by the heart rate, which turns out to be 5,250 milliliters per minute or approximately 5 liters per minute. 